From hobby farmers to weekend gardeners and everyone in between, Tractor Supply trusts 5G solutions from T-Mobile for Business to make shopping more personal. Together, we're connecting over 2,200 stores with 5G business internet and powering AI so team members can match shoppers with products faster. You're all set. This is enriching customer experience. This is Tractor Supply with T-Mobile for Business. Take your business further at T-Mobile.com slash now. Whether you're ordering wings for the game, whipping up a seven-layer dip, or ordering pizza, there's something about football that makes you want to eat. In this football season, Uber Eats has the best deals on game day food, no matter what you're craving. From two-for-one pizza to buy one, get one wings. Uber Eats will be dropping new deals each week, all season long. Uber Eats, the official on-demand delivery partner of the NFL, order now for game day. Terms and conditions apply. See app for details. Uh, Tommy, if we were practicing today, not a walkthrough, he would be limited. His forearm is sore, and we'll see where we're at. He's, you know, we had a walkthrough right before this. It is sore, so we'll see where we're at here. Is he thrown yet? He threw in the walkthrough. I wouldn't say it's, you know, timing or a lot of depth to it or velocity to it, but he was throwing in the walkthrough. He's going to test it uh, out here today in practice in another walkthrough. Um, so I'm hopeful, but uh, you know, it's not 100%. Do you have to give? Yeah, no, it's a walkthrough. But yeah, yeah, I'm going to give Drew. I'm going to give Drew a, a few snaps here um, and see. We'll, we'll go ahead and we, we've got a lot of oh time on task with the walkthroughs, the, the stuff that we've put in. Uh, we just had one, you know, earlier. So, but I'm going to give I'm going to give Drew a few of those. Uh, but if if Tommy's good, then then Tommy will be the guy. Did this happen on a hit or just like on a throw? Yeah, no, he's, you know, he's been, he was sore from the game, naturally playing, but, uh, you know, it just, it bothered him a little bit. And right before I got out here, he kind of, we were talking about it and I was talking to the trainers about it. So just sharing it with you. Is this throwing up? It's throwing it is, down. yeah. Did you in the injury report yesterday? Uh, it didn't, just, just this morning, like today, he's, he was out there with his sleeve. I'm like, you good? He's like, yeah, I'll be good. I'll be good. I'm, I'm a little sore here. So. I just I just got it right now, Pat. It was it was sore today. What with the other guys that are on the injury report who were at DNP yesterday? Yeah, uh, Jermaine. If we were practicing, he would not practice. Uh, Aziz and Armand Watts. None of those guys would practice if we had a, a practice today. So. Um, How's Evan Neal? I know. He, yesterday he was projected yeah, he'll be, as a did he'll not be practice. He'll be on the but... injury report. Uh, it's his hip. Um, I would say I'm, I'm optimistic that he should be ready to go. Again, it's a little bit harder, obviously, with, with not doing much. But I think uh, I think he should be ready to go, Jordan. Those three guys you mentioned, though, <clears throat> Illuminor, Aziz, and Watts, do you think they're unlikely for that? Uh, just take it, let it go all the way up to, to game time to see where they're at. But uh, they would not practice today. You were in this. Uh, you were playing in this game recently, obviously. Did, yeah, a bunch, did, did, bunch you know, of them. I mean, this the, the, the Thursday game against the Cowboys. Like, yeah. Even though that game didn't go well, at yeah. least being through that experience, could that help your guys? Thursday. Uh, well, look, it's just it's always a little bit of a different schedule on short weeks. Uh, so we'll do what we think is best. We've had a lot of walkthroughs. We've had a lot of meeting time. That's really all you can do to to get yourself mentally prepared and physically. You're not you're not going to do a whole bunch. Uh, just haven't played a game on Sunday. Is Thanksgiving any different than any other Thursday game? Or? Yeah, it's a privilege to, to play on Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, you remember, you know, I remember sitting there with my grandfather and, and, and watching the games on Thanksgiving when there's only a couple of them. Uh, but been I've participated in in this game on Thanksgiving in my career quite a bit. Uh, it's always uh, it's always a privilege. Is it a sore throwing arm or a sore other arm? No, it's just throwing arm. Yep. Dave, when you have a game like you had on Sunday yeah. where nobody was happy. Would you rather be in a situation where you'd get out on the practice field a couple of days and kind of work through things, or can this work to benefit or do you really have no choice? Either? Yeah, well, it's you know it's a schedule, so uh, we'll go ahead and do everything we can do to, to be as prepared as we can be. You just crack your head and say, how do we go 10 games without an interception? Uh, yeah, you know, not. I, I would say, look, we got to do a better job of taking the ball away, which which there were some good things last week. You know, we missed the one obviously right there on the goal line, and we had another one where uh, they recovered it, the one that Mike had jumped on. So we got to continue to, uh, you know, do a good job of trying to take the football away from from a team's offense and special teams. 
What sense have you gotten about the morale in, in the meeting rooms? Yeah, the, well, nobody's happy with, with, with where we're at, uh, Steve, but uh, look, we've got positive mindset. We've got to get ready to control the things you control, which is this week. Uh, but I've said this before, I've got a, a good appreciation for, for the people in the building. We've done this all season, and I don't think we've asked you, why do you okay. take flat out and put a door in on those passing downs? What's the thought process there? Yeah, I think that uh, Shane and, and Jerome have a, have kind of a good system with, with what they use in terms of the amount of reps and certain situations that they play those guys in and uh, situations that they feel comfortable with. All good? Okay. Thanks, guys. I have something to ask you about. With Malik, and even with, like, uh, Deontay Banks, when... He has a couple times earlier in the year where there's questions about his effort. You come out here, your approach is, you know, I talk to him behind closed doors, there's not much to it. With Malik, same thing the other day. That can be perceived by a lot of people as, hey, you're enabling these young guys to sort of do what they want. What do you say when you hear that? Like, Yeah, I'd say we have good, you know, open conversations about it with, you know, whoever that may be, whether it's one of those guys, somebody else. Uh, you know, I'm confident in those young players and we'll keep developing them. Do you feel like they're learning from their mistakes? I mean, I don't know if you view it as a mistake, but Malik obviously came out publicly as a rookie in this league. Yeah. Had some pretty strong comments. Yeah, look, I, I think our, our conversations are, are very productive, uh, not just with them, with veterans and things like that. And you're always continuing to grow. Is there a balance? I'll continue on Jordan's sure. kind of training. Like having a rookie speak out and speak their mind versus like, I don't want to say put them in line per se, but just to where that, like, I yeah. guess. Yeah, I looked, I think I'm, I'm very confident in, in the relationship I have with our guys, uh, whether they're rookies, whether they're veterans. Uh, and we have good, productive conversations, uh, and we look to improve, you know, every day. Okay. We got to go. Be perceived, obviously, and, you know, you know how it can be perceived. And, like, with Deontay, it, you know, it took you to, as you got further down the line, before you, you know, took him out of the lineup. Do you, I know that's your approach. Why do you, why do you personally choose that approach? Like to not yeah. to come up here and not say, hey, the, he needs to do better. You know, we're not happy with what he did. Instead, handling it behind closed doors. Yeah, I, I just think it's important to have um, open and honest communication with the players or or the coaches. And you know, I have a lot of faith in those guys, and you know, teach them the things that I think that need to be taught. And I have confidence in them. Whether you're ordering wings for the game, whipping up a seven-layer dip, or ordering pizza, there's something about football that makes you want to eat. In this football season, Uber Eats has the best deals on game day food, no matter what you're craving. From two-for-one pizza to buy one, get one wings, Uber Eats will be dropping new deals each week, all season long. Uber Eats, the official on-demand delivery partner of the NFL, order now for game day. Terms and conditions apply. See app for details. Lowe's knows you want to get even more value for the holiday. That's why as a My Lowe's Rewards member, you get new member deals on holiday decor, tools, and more. And you earn points when you shop. More points equal more rewards to help you save on holiday and more. Not a member? Join for free today at Lowe's.com slash My Lowe's Rewards because Lowe's knows deals. Program subject to terms and conditions. Points are awarded on eligible purchases. See Lowe's.com slash terms for full details subject to change.